everyone and welcome to this video on basic git commands. Imagine you're working on a big project with a team, maybe building a website, a mobile app, or even a DevOps automation pipeline. Every team member is making changes, fixing bugs, and adding features. So, without a system to track these changes, you could easily lose work or overwrite someone else's updates. So that's where version control comes in. And Git is one of the most popular tools for it. Git lets you go back to any previous version, track who made which changes, and collaborate without chaos. So today, I'll walk you through the basic Git commands that every developer and DevOps engineer must know. So before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also, do check out Edureka's DevOps training program. It is designed to equip learners with the skills to master AI-integrated DevOps across the entire software delivery lifecycle. Through hands-on learning, you will get expertise in building intelligent, automated, and secure CI-CD pipelines. So this comprehensive program covers essential tools like Git, Jenkins, Terraform, Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes, and monitoring frameworks, while also integrating AI-driven solutions for code generation, testing, and analytics. So check out the course link given in the description box below. Now, let's get started with our basic Git commands. So in this demo, I'll be using Git bash on Windows. But you can follow along with any terminal like the Mac OS terminal or Linux shell as long as Git is installed. So let's start a project with Git. So first we start by creating a folder for our project and turning it into a Git repository using Git in it. So this sets up a hidden .git folder that will track all changes in this project. So first, let us create a directory and navigate into it. So here is the command, make directory followed by the directory name. So I'm going to give it as DevOps demo. And now let us navigate into this. So for that, the command is CT followed by the directory name. So now we are into this folder. Now let us initialize git. So the command is git in it. So as you can see, initialized empty git repository. Now let us clone an existing repository. So the command is git clone followed by the repository. So to copy the existing repository, you can go to your github and there you can copy the existing repository. So let us do that quickly. So now let us go to code. And over here, let us copy this. So here, let us paste it. All right. If you're joining an existing project, you don't start from scratch. You just have to use git clone followed by the repository URL to get all the files and their history onto your machine. So that is what we have done here. Now moving on to checking the status. So to check the status, give the command git status. So here we got the status, it says on branch master and no commits yet. As you can also see, nothing added to the commit but untracked files present. Now moving on to staging files. So before committing changes, we need to stage them. So dot git add marks files for the next commit. And you can also use git add dot to stage all the changes at once. So let us list the files. So for that, let us run the command ls. Now, let me create a file. So I'm going to give this is my demo file. And let me give it as demo.txt. Okay. Now let us stage the file. So give the command git add demo.txt. Now moving on to committing changes. One stage we save our work as a snapshot using git commit. So here is the command git commit hyphen m followed by a message initial commit or maybe we can say a description so over here in this command the hyphen m is the flag that adds a descriptive message so if you want to skip staging for already tracked file you can use git commit hyphen a hyphen m so let us run that command git commit hyphen a hyphen m with the description or maybe a small message. Now moving on to removing files. So to remove file from git and system, you can run the command git rm 
followed by the file name demo.txt. So if you need to delete a file from both git and your local system, then you can use this command as git rm demo.txt. This is the file name. And you can also add hyphen f to force remove if it is staged. So the command is git rm hyphen f demo.txt. So this will be the command. So now moving on to reviewing commit history. So the command is git log. So you can use git log to see the project's commit history. You can also add hyphen hyphen one line for a compact view. So let's try that. Give the command git log hyphen hyphen one line. So this will give a compact view. And now if you give git log hyphen p, then over here the hyphen p is to see detailed changes. So let us run this. So here you get the view on the detailed changes and you can also give hyphen hyphen graph to visualize branches and merges. So the command is git log hyphen hyphen graph. Hope this is clear now. Next moving on to working with branches. So branches let you experiment or build features without touching the main code. You can create, switch, merge or delete them as needed. So if you want to list branches, then here is the command git branch. So this command is to list out all the branches. So currently we are on the master branch. We have one branch that is master. Now if you want to switch branches, then the command is git checkout dev branch. So this is the branch that I'm going to switch. So it says an error because we have not created any branch yet. So if you want to create and switch branch, then here's the command git checkout hyphen b to create. And let me give a branch name feature login. So this is the new branch that I'm creating. And I'm also switching onto this new branch. So we have successfully switched to a new branch called feature login. And now if you want to merge branch into current, and the command is git merge followed by feature login. This is the branch name followed by the branch name. So it says already up to date. And now if you want to delete any branch, then here's the command git branch followed by hyphen D. So this will delete the branch. Following this mention the branch name. So I'm giving it as feature login. So I'm deleting this branch. So it says error because we cannot delete the branch because currently we are on this branch, right? We are currently on the feature branch. So let us switch to the main branch and then delete this branch. So to switch to the main branch, the command is git. Let me clear this first. So let me give the command git checkout master. You can also give main or master. So currently we are on master branch. Now I can delete the feature login branch. Git branch hyphen d to delete followed by the branch name so we have successfully deleted the branch feature login so now if you want to check if you are in the main branch then give the command git switch master so it says already on master hope this is clear and now moving on to advanced commands so you can use git commit hyphen hyphen amend to fix your last commit messages and tags mark important commits like releases so you can find them easily later. So the command is git commit hyphen hyphen amend hyphen m with the message updated message. So the amend fixes the last commit message. Now if you want to add a tag then the command is git tag hyphen a followed by version. I'm going to mention the version hyphen m with the message version 1.0 so it says this version already exists so let me view the tags so to view the tags the command is git tag so here we have the tag all right i hope the basic commands are clear now and that's it for this video we have covered how to initialize a repository track and commit changes, also work with branches and even tag important versions. 
So this basic Git commands are the foundation of version control, whether you're working solo or in a large DevOps team. So master them and you will always be in control of your project's history. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed listening to this video, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. And do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.